Okay everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a walkthrough guide, if you will, for the series of eight little mini games in this awesome Planet Earth 3 lesson for Minecraft Education Edition. All the links uh, will be in the description down below. We're going to get started with this first lesson, with, which is about Cape Fur Seals. We're going to be understanding how they uh, can defend themselves, their pups and their territory against great white sharks. You get this awesome PowerPoint that you can share with your students and a load of optional activities about learning about the habitat of these creatures as well. Now the first task, quite simply you've got to swim around and you've got to collect up all the fish. You've also got to get some of your seal friends together uh, to help uh, get rid of this shark. We don't want that bar to get to the end. We've got to stay around the rocks because if that bar gets to the end then the shark gets us. But we've got mission accomplished here. Nice easy one this one. And then as you can see you and all of your cape fur seal friends can get rid of that great white shark and then we're done that's the end so moving on to the next uh, little mini game here we'll call them is uh, we'll call them lessons they're lessons aren't they we now um, reverse the tail and we're going as a great white shark this time and we're swimming through this one is tricky uh, you got to sneak up on the seals and you got to try and catch them so you can follow the scent there of the seals uh, you got to kind of stay behind the rocks and that bar at the top there is your boost so if you select the boost in the hot bar and use that to catch up to the seal and then you use the little sword icon to, uh, I guess, chomp them, but only when you get close enough. And it's tricky because um, it's hard to catch them without using uh, overusing the boost. Uh, but keep keep having a go at it and be patient with that one. The next one we're going to be learning about the Arctic wolf and the mus musk ox. And again, you get a cool PowerPoint. You can go through with your students some additional activities, and uh, we're going to be learning some really cool stuff about how the wolves uh, hunt and how the musk ox defend themselves, uh, which is pretty really nice. Now um, we could start off, we've got to do this uh, task here where we follow the scent of the musk ox. Uh, we're playing as one of the arctic wolves here and this one's nice and simple. You just kind of wander around and then follow this pink uh, scent trail. You can turn that scent on using the hot bar, uh, hot bar position number one. And when you get close to the herd this activity will start. Uh, you just sort of run alongside the herd basically and kind of harangue them. Um, this one's this one took me a few goes actually it's not super easy uh, but just stay to one side stay away from the from the big ox at the back and just keep spam clicking um, that kind of uh, I don't know if it's like a growl or an intimidation thing but you'll get through that one it's not too bad uh, next we play the same um, the same level musk as ox. the musk ox so we've got our herd of musk ox on the tundra here and um, we've got to walk around and have a little look for these wolves without getting too close so we want to make sure we're using our vision here and we click and hold and try and spot these wolves and once we've spot uh, I think there's seven of them to spot once you've used your sixth sense and your vision items and spotted them all the uh, next little task will start and this is uh, you're playing the same thing now as the wolves as the uh, musk ox I say and um, you just got to kind of keep them away okay so the way I found was easiest was to actually kind of run backwards and strafe across and um, use your attack to just uh, hit whichever wolves are nearest to the herd and then if you keep that up you should eventually be fine and it will say mission complete and David Attenborough will be very pleased with you and that will be the fourth of the eight I think these eight mini games are all done there might be ten no there's ten mini games my mistake um, this next one is about impalas and uh, leopards okay so they're hunting each other again you get a really cool PowerPoint you can share with your class some additional activities we're trying to understand here the characteristics of impalas and leopards and we're going to be able to describe how the habitat loss will affect the relationship between these the uh, between these two creatures now um as you can see we're going to start off as the uh, impala and we're going to be trying to uh, eat some of these flowers from underneath the tree uh, this little section is not too difficult uh, again you've got to keep your eye on the little bar that's at the top of the screen so you have a little wander around and you've got to eat I think 10 of these flowers or something like that and you can see then they're glowing red uh, but there's a leopard up in this tree so we've got to kind of move away as quickly as we can eat a couple of flowers and then move away before the red bar gets all the way to the top and just move over to a different tree and um, just repeat the process and you'll be fine this one's not not too difficult really I took a couple of goes at this one and it was all fine and the impalas are all okay now Mission the next one 
you play as the leopard and this one uh, was really difficult. I find this super. <laughs> I had to repeat this lots of times. So you've got to run around the branches at the top. You've got to avoid these um, kind of creaky branches if you can, with a slightly different texture on. Um, and if the bar reaches the top, you've been too noisy, and the impala will run away. And it's like a parkour. You're basically looking for these blue um, particles, which will show you the way to go. Um, yeah, there they are. And then you very slowly make your way around with doing as little jumping as possible. So the idea is you need to find your way just by walking, ideally. Um, I don't think you can help do a bit of jumping, but uh, yeah, we just want to walk around. And this one took me so long. I uh, just keep falling down to the bottom and then it puts you right back at the start every single time. Uh, it's a bit frustrating, but um, I kept trying and I got there and eventually you will see some kind of glowing green particles and as long as you can get there without being too noisy um, then you're good to go and you can finish this one let's go down yeah no big jumping and then just over here and again David Attenborough goes mission, mission accomplished and everything everything is fine right the next uh, what are we on now we're on um, five aren't we mini game five and this one is about uh, the uh, tree hopper and stinglet bees uh, have a have a mutualistic relationship in nature. Uh, so the tree hoppers uh, are these little um, these little guys on the floor here, I think. And um, we need to make sure that we are looking after them. And in return, the bees get some kind of nectar uh, or honeydew or whatever we're calling it here. So you need to go around and collect this stuff from these little bugs down here. And uh, eventually, these um, kind of I don't know, like they're like. Uh, stick insects or grasshoppers or something like that uh, will come and attack. I think they're called tree hoppers. I think I think um, I think they're tree hoppers that's what they're called and they will they will attack and the bugs will send out a distress signal and you've got to go and defend them and while you're defending them you may as well help yourself to a bit of the honeydew as well and we're trying to fill up that bottom green bar there mission to make sure that uh, we can finish that mission and all is good and we've learned all about how uh, these two species kind of look after each other they help each other out and now we're going to do uh, the same level again uh, from the from the view of this kind of bug here I don't know if this one's called this isn't a tree hopper um, yeah, it, this is the tree hopper. The things that are attacking them are, I don't know what they are, they're like stick insects or something weird. And now we've got these ants here. Uh, we've got to defend our little bug dudes from these ants. So just right click, attack, get rid of them. And then we are going to guide our um, little mites, they mites, to these uh, feeding zones. Yeah. Oh, they're assassin bugs. These things are called ass assassin bugs. Um, and when you've collected enough nectar, you can call in the bees. So the bees come down and keep you safe from the assassin bugs. So as the mother, you can't attack the assassin bugs. You just have to kind of ignore them until you've got enough nectar. And then the, the bees will come down and you can use uh, the second slot in your hotbar to call those bees down. And then you just carry on attacking the ants. Um, the bees will look after you and then you get to the feeding zones once enough of your bugs are alive and they've been fed you get these little green ticks on them and um, then it says mission accomplished and you're good to go uh, that one wasn't too hard took a while but it didn't take me lots of goes um, finally we've got the last two uh, mini lessons this was lily trotter nest challenge and um, we've got to understand the characteristics of lily trotter fathers and their chicks again you get an awesome powerpoint and loads of cool activities you can do with your class that bulk this these lessons out uh, then these lessons are not just doing the mini games there's loads of other cool stuff you can do with them um, links in the description to all the teacher resources that are on the official Minecraft education website. Now, this first task, uh, you've got to sc scroll through the items on your hotbar uh, to move the chicks forward. Um, so generally you want to be moving them forward, but you can get them to stay where they are, move to the side, and you want them to avoid uh, the eagle coming down there, and you want them to avoid, yeah, I didn't do a good job there, and you want them to avoid the crocodiles at the side, and those, um, those areas will be highlighted um, in orange or red, so don't move them to one of those orange or red squares, go around them or wait until they move. The eagle attacks a different part each time and then keep moving them forward and eventually you're good to go. Um, the lily trotter chick, oh my word, this one. Um, this one took me quite a while, it's frustrating. Again, it's like uh, another parkour type thing. My advice on this one is um, just be quick and, um, and just jump, jump, be quick. You can go in the water uh, but don't loiter around. If that bar gets to the top, 
the crop dial I think will get you. Um, you can see here I'm falling in the water a lot. Um, in this first section there's not as many crocodiles so it's not too bad. This next section on the other side of this island there's a lot of crocodiles around so you really need to get a move on and the good thing about this one I suppose if you fa if if you fail this challenge it puts you back just um, you can start straight away, you just click replay, try again or whatever it is and you can go through it again and just hop over all the lily pads, be as quick as you can, try not to fall in the water and stay away from the crocodiles. Um, the crocodiles do move around but I don't think waiting for them to move out of the way was very helpful, I did try that. And here's the website, that was all of the mini games. here's the website where you can um, look at all of the, all of the different uh, powerpoints and all the different fact sheets and it has links to really lots of really cool external resources sources that you can use as well so you can get the most out of these lessons with your class I think they will um, I think they'll love it I can't wait to try it with mine some of them will struggle you can skip the lessons so unlike some of the previous planet earth ones you can if you don't do the lesson as in if you don't do the mini game you can just skip past it it's fine um, obviously they'll want to keep going and trying but you can just skip by we've got some excellent resource here uh, about bees as well and you can download all of the um, worksheets and things that they can do so there's loads of cool resources that go around this that are well worth taking your time to have a look and go through before you implement it with your class. Right guys, I hope you found that useful. Uh, this this video took me so long to make. It's a short-ish video, uh, but it took me so long to make because I was repeating those uh, mini challenges over and over again to uh, try and get past them for you. Uh, so show some love and give me a like and a subscribe and I'll see you all later in the week.